these ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent meet. Thank you. How are you feeling? Happy, uh, relieved, uh, just, I don't think it's kind of sunk in. I mean, it has, but it hasn't, you know, it's just, it's just, as a coach, it's wonderful to just see how much it means to the girls and um, just, it's pretty awesome. How is this championship title different than the others that you've won in the past? With other teams. Yeah, I mean, I think they're all different because it's the behind the stuff uh, and the day-to-day -day struggles and challenges and opportunities. And so each one kind of has a story. And we had women in the stands that um, were on our first, you know, first couple. And so just to see them get excited, um, Karen Mo Humphreys, who coached at Cal before I was here, made the journey out and um, she had people that were on the team over 25 years ago that came out to support us so it's pretty pretty awesome yeah. at what point this morning or at any point if there was one did you guys just kind of say like <clears throat> yeah we got it <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we got second in the re I mean I, I think I think before the relay you know I um, I don't think tonight was particularly I mean, there were some definitely some highlights, but uh, definitely we we're running on fumes, a few people, <laughs> and and so just um, you know just making sure that we didn't get too confident that that would be a little embarrassing. <laughs> Missy, you seem a little emotional. A little. <laughs> How? I mean, you we've seen you on so many different elite platforms. How is this one different than the Olympic Games and international levels and? Were the tears flowing? What was it like <laughs> oh. out there? <laughs> it's it's so different. Um, I've kind of said it before that collegiate swimming is kind of like a totally different sport within swimming itself, and and just that team atmosphere. That's something that I wanted so bad, and it's something that I never could have experienced would feel like this. And the tears were definitely flowing um, in these past two years, honestly. Just and even last year, like understanding what it felt like to get third and to watch Georgia win and, and have that gut feeling of how bad he wanted it and then this year to be the ones running through the tunnel to be the ones jumping in like it just it really made me appreciate what we were able to do and what Terry was able to help us achieve. Cards played out pretty well. Twitter backstroke 147. Oh, <laughs> just missed that record. Uh, Lizzie's record still stands but how happy were you with that swim because yesterday you said you were going in with pretty open expectations. Yeah, I was really happy about it. Um, I have never been under 148 before, so I'm really excited about that. And the whole swim felt way better than I was expecting it to. So I kind of got out and was like, oh, like that felt good. <laughs> so I think that's really good moving forward that I was able to swim that. And I think I almost negative slid it. So definitely a little bit different than how I swim my two free, but I tried to swim it <laughs> some more. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, when you first when you first started at, at Cal, uh, you were you were trying to get into the top 20 in the national league, and then you got into the top 10. And the last several years, you've not been lower than third. What's been the difference all of those years? Um, I, I some of it, honestly, a, a gentleman uh, Rick Cronk that's here. That's a big. Um, we have four amazing families that um, a decade ago made a commitment to all of our aquatic sports and definitely um, uh, increased my scholarship uh, numbers, which gave us a, a bump to get into the top 10. And then, you know, we started to have some success. And I, I think quality people attract quality people. And, um, you know, I, I am very proud of the consistency of the program because I think that is, to me, that's the sign of a, um, you know, a, a program, a philosophy, a belief, a, there where a group of women can come in and, and be their best um, year after year, not just one person or, or three or four. So. Can you expand on one of your qual most quality swimmers of all time, swimming college for two years, and what that feels like to know that she's going on, she's made a decision for the country to sacrifice two years to go on to represent the United States. What is that like, having a swimmer in that situation? Well, I think, I mean, that's something that we talked about the day after London when I walked into her home to recruit her and just, you know, I know where I was standing in your kitchen and it said, <laughs> you know, what, what, what do you want in this experience? And we talked about how it needed to be two years and that she had uh, an opportunity leading into the Olympics because of what she did in London. And it's, um, you know, that in this scenario, she can have the best of both. And um, I think that's, that's pretty... Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs>
Terry, you've had so you had a lot of incredible NCAA performances weekends. Where do you think Missy's ranks on all, all the ones you've seen? You know, going back to Natalie's and Dana's. And Missy, where, where does this weekend and specifically the 200 freestyle rank on your list of your, your best swims? <laughs> Well, that would be like choosing which child you like the best, and, and I, 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 don't, I don't really think that's fair. You know, they're all they're all different, and um, I've been blessed to work with an amazing group of women. You know, many that you all know their names, and many that you don't know their names. And um, for me, that's that's my life's work that I'm really proud of, and um, I, you know, I'm looking forward to it's it's gonna continue and. Hopefully, and I'll be able to sit here again, and there'll be another <laughs> wonderful human being um, sitting next to me, and we'll get to e experience, you know, pretty, pretty awesome memories. So, yeah. Missy, where, where did it rank among um, your? You know, it's kind of like the same thing. I every race just is so different, and especially the the things that surround it, and the people that are surrounding me when I when I swim different times, and. And so it all it all means something different, you know. London being with Team USA and doing it there, that was something completely different than than being here and accomplishing these points for my team. And so, for me, this is it's been absolutely incredible. And that two free, I I was so happy that I was able to go out. And I think you said this earlier, but Terry looked at me right before, and and she just said, "Make them remember you." And to have a coach that believed in me that strongly, and to be surrounded by my second family like that was just. That will forever be one of my favorite swims in my heart, not even because of the time, but because of the people that I had supporting me through it. So, so speaking of that, um, I guess for both of you, what are there specific things, like factors, little, little things that you guys are going to remember about this year's team specifically? For for me, it's just going to be the girls and and Terry and and just what we were able to accomplish, and it's kind of the things that no one sees that really mean the most to me and that make the biggest difference. I think. I mean, we've gone through so much together, and you know, it's those special team moments that you have where it's just you and it's just your girls, and those those are the memories that you'll have forever. And and I know that I've formed relationships that I'm going to have for the rest of my life, and I'm so grateful for that. Terry, what does Missy bring to the team that's unique that you're really going to miss next year? My dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> the dance moves and the, the uh, you know, I mean, everybody's, everybody brings something different. Again, like, I, I, I don't know, that's just a really hard question. I, I really don't know how to, um, I, the thing I am struck by as a, as a coach where you'll spend, you know, four years or with a young lady day in and day out, and then there comes a time where now you're not going to see him every day, you, you know, and that's that's just kind of it's just kind of weird sometimes, and and um, you know those it, it's we we talked a lot about they're just they're transition moments, they're not goodbyes, they're transition moments, and so um, this is a transition, and you know where it goes from here, that's we'll figure that out when it, when it's time, you know. Missy, what's going to be your biggest takeaway from your two years at Cal? Mm. Oh my gosh, um, that's a really there's there's so much. Um, I honestly, I the reason I chose Cal was because Terry cares just as much, if not more, about making great women and. If they happen to become great swimmers, she's a pretty good coach, so that happens along the way as well. But she places her importance on preparing us for life, on using swimming as a way to teach us about how to handle hard conversations, how to handle disappointments, how to get back up when you've been knocked down, and how many times in life are we going to experience those moments with jobs, with families, with, with everything. And, and that's what sport for me is all about. That's what I want to get young kids involved in sports for, is because you learn these lessons and you get these relationships that it's so hard to find in other places. And, and the things that I've been able to learn through those setbacks, believing in myself, using the people around me, not being afraid to ask for help, and just being completely 100% okay with, with just being me at all times and knowing that I'm accepted for that. Terry, Missy just talked a lot about what she had learned from you. What do you feel like the biggest thing is that you've learned from her? I'm sure there's so many. Well, she looks at life with rainbows and unicorns. And <laughs> <laughs> Terry looks at life as the sky's falling a lot of times. <laughs> And I just, um, you know, that that's in her DNA, and it's in my DNA to 
kind of um, think the sky is falling, and you know, for what reasons, I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's, <laughs> it that rubs off, you know, and I think there's a little bit of my the sky is falling could like it that is helping her too, you know, so, yeah. so I think it's, um, you know, that's the thing I've learned, and um, I've been most struck by. Um, this, a lot of the superstars in my program that have taken their own journeys, and, and Missy's definitely an example of, um, you know, doing what her heart says, not what other people think she should do. And um, I think that, um, and what she just said, that's the greatest gift she could give me more than the points or the championship or whatever. If that's really how she feels, then I, I, I'm, I'm good with what I was able to help her with. Misty, what does it feel like to be in this moment where you're wearing the national championship t-shirt <laughs> and the hat and you're still in your suit, which has to be killing you yeah, right now? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and just, put, put, just put this moment into words. It's, it's really honestly impossible, too. Um, There's so many feelings right now, um, but the main one is just pride of being a golden bear, of having gold and blue running through my veins for the rest of my life like this is just something that's never going to change i am going to remember these three days for as long as i live and that's just something that's so incredibly special and it's a little wet too <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating Probably for dinner time for tonight? one or two more questions oh pizza i think we're <laughs> load up on some pizza congratulations <laughs> thank, thank you very much thank you thank you very much thank you, thank you. Thank you.